All right, this is fifth grade, module two, lesson 12, and we're continuing to find the product of decimals and uh, using estimation to make sure that our answer is uh, reasonable. All right, so first we're going to estimate, and then we're going to multiply using that standard algorithm. So we can see, well, 24, we can estimate and call that around 25, let's say. And then 23, uh, 2.31, we can estimate and round that to about 2. And so our estimation is around 50. Now there's nothing magic about how I estimated. We could have estimated this to 20 and 2, um, or just left it at 24 and 2. Uh, any of those would have been acceptable. I just chose 25 times 2 because it felt good for me. Now, we could use the area model if, if it, we wanted to, but we're just going to go straight to the standard system. So I'm going to write 2.31 over here times 24. And remember, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply 2.31 by 100, and that's going to give us 231 times 24. And then we're going to multiply uh, using the standard algorithm. So 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, carry the 1, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. We're going to add a 0 here because this 2 is really a 20. So 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 4, and now we are free to add. And in doing so, we get 5,544. But really, we have to divide by 100 because earlier we multiplied by 100. So we have to divide by 100 to get our answer back to where it should be. And the answer is 55.44. So in this last problem for this video, we're going to practice our multiplication only using a word problem. So it says, Eric walks 2.75 miles to and from work every day for an entire year. How many miles did he walk? Okay, so now, so here's his home. Here's his work. So he walks 2.75 miles, and then he walks 2.7 miles to 75 miles back. So altogether, we have to add... 2.75 plus 2.75, whoa, 75, and when we add, we get 5.5, because really we don't need that zero. So he walks 5.5 miles daily, and he does it for an entire year. Well, that's 365 days in the year. So we're going to multiply 365 times 5.5, and we're going to multiply by 10 so that we can turn that into a whole number. So we get 365 times 5, and now we're ready to start multiplying. So 5 times 5 is 25, carry the 2. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 2 is 32 carry that 3. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 3 is 18. Now we're going to put a 0 here, because this is actually a 50, not a 5. It's actually a 50, so that's why we need to put down the 0. So 5 times 5 is 25, carry the 2. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 2 is 32, so carry the 3. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 3 more is 18, and now we're free to add. So we get 5, 7, 10, carry the 1, 10, carry the 1. So we get that 20,075, but we have to divide by 10 so that we can get our uh, proper answer. So in dividing by 10, we know that that means we're going to move the decimal. And so we get 2,007 and a half miles.
for the entire year. And that is lesson 12, where we are multiplying and using estimation to check for the reasonableness of our answer.